Dr. Gang Green Presents is made possible in part by Rick's Comic City. Welcome to Game Green Manor. I'm Doc Game Green, your host into the macabre this evening. Let me ask you a question. Do you like clowns? I mean, really? Do you find them to be entertaining jokesters of the circus? <laughs> or do you, like many people, find them to be creepy, disturbing, and downright scary? Well, let me tell you. Either way, after tonight's episode, you may never look at clowns the same way again. Tonight's episode is titled simply, The Clown. Here, Carnival! Where are you going? You said we could have some fun. I said if you behaved yourself. Well, didn't I? Come on. Look at Clown! <laughs> now, let me see. What am I going to have? Well, you ain't going to have anything, little girl, till I see some sort of identification. <laughs> I'm a married woman. Well, I'm his wife. Look. And of age. Well, sorry, but that's the rule. Don't you worry. We all make mistakes. Anyways, I just want a, a pop. Sure. You know, you had me there for a minute. I thought he was your, uh, <coughs> well. <laughs> What's so funny? What's so funny? And who asked you? Come on over and sit down. I'll bring you a pop. drive me too far, do you understand? I am so sick of watching you put on that nice, sweet act. Listen to me! I'm listening, I'm listening. Can I have a candy bar? There you go again. Every man, every, every one of them. What's the matter with you? Why do you act like that? Walk like you do. Be like that. Like what? Like you are. Well, how else can I be except like I am? You're cheap. You're cheap. Insult 1,275. I know it the first time I saw you, too. Remember out right there on the road, the old man's fruit stand, you selling peaches? <laughs> peaches. And I said to myself, she's fresh as a peach herself. But look out. Wrong. Wrong. And Still, I fell for it, didn't I? I had to have you. Sorry. <clears throat> Can I have that candy bar? You don't listen, do you? I talk, but you don't listen. I'm listening, Tom. I'm listening. You want a fudgy or something? All I want is, is the Jack decent, do you understand? Can't you see what it's doing to me? <laughs> You're getting grazed there, and there's... Stop it! 
That's why you're so mean. a smile that makes up for a thousand words. A million, in fact. <laughs> oh, would you my hair? My pretty soft hair? I like it, too. I sure do. I guess maybe I oughtn't to say that. It's real nice, like silk. You... Go ahead. Eat it all you like. Didn't I tell you it's smooth and silk? <laughs> it must be sweet to have someone like you around. Someone who never says anything to me. hair alone. He's just sweet. Yeah, he's just sweet like all the others. He likes isn't he? my hair. He's real isn't sweet. He? He's a nice clown. He likes your hair. It's lovely hair, isn't it? Nice. It really is lovely <laughs> hair. There. You like her hair? Well, here. <laughs> oh, here. You can have it. Now feel it all you want. Oh, well, guess old Pippo had a wild hair about that girl. <laughs> you know what they say, hair today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> Speaking of hair, we're about a hair's breadth for more horror here on Dr. Gang Green Presents. And speaking of horror, here's a real horror, the commercials. What is the medical term for a fear of clowns? Answer after these messages. 
Summertime's here and everyone likes to get outside and enjoy the outdoors. But to keep the environment a safe, clean place, we need everyone's help. Cigarette litter is a fire hazard, environmental danger, and litter nuisance. Filters on a cigarette take years to decompose and can threaten aquatic life and water supplies. Take a second to properly dispose of cigarette butts in an ashtray or approved receptacle. Remember, considerate smokers don't litter. Don't be a bonehead. Dispose of those butts properly. And remember to go green with Dr. Gang Green. What is the medical term for a fear of clowns? Answer, coolrophobia. Well, enough of that clowning around. Now back to more carnival craziness with tonight's episode, which is appropriately titled, The Clown.
you dirty chick. I've had it from you. I've had it, do you hear? Nobody opens that door till the police get here. But Bug said he saw the Buck whole thing. Buck was shooting off his mouth. Yeah, but I caught him red-handed, I tell you. I saw him with my own eyes. I don't care what you saw. Pippo couldn't do a thing like that. Anybody knows Pippo wouldn't hurt a fly. He's big, he's dumb maybe, but... But he, I saw him. He could talk for himself. When the police get here, he can write down what happened. Oh, that poor innocent girl. Stabbed with them wicked scissors of his. I always knew there was something wrong with that Pippo. You mind your own business. All right, back to work. Let's break it up. Come on. Look at that dummy. Look at his face. Grinning. Just grinning. As if it was some big joke. Sitting in 
in the clowns indeed. Oh, Pippo's been framed and he don't like it one bit. No siree. Join us back here after these commercials and find out what Pippo's got in store. You don't want to miss this. When was the earliest recorded clown in history? Answer after these messages. Now this is madness. You're telling me? Litter trashes up the places we live, work, and play. So pick up your mess for a better tomorrow. We better get to work on that better tomorrow. Get a brain, keep Nashville clean. Go green with Dr. Gangrene. <laughs> when was the earliest recorded clown in history? Answer, around 2200 BC in ancient Egypt. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Step up one and all. Yes, you funny guy right there on the lounge chair. Step right up for tonight's finale of the terror tale called The Clown. <laughs> Well, how about that? The creepy clown gets revenge in the end. <laughs> I tell you, now that's justice. Well, I have to be honest with you folks. I mean, tonight's episode, a killer clown. I mean, come on. Come on. You guys weren't really scared. I mean, who's scared of clowns? I'm not scared of clowns. No siree. Why? You'd have to be a real moron to be scared of a clown. Dude, there's no way a clown would scare me. Why, if I saw a clown in this world, I... Pippo, no! I'm just kidding! Pippo, no! Agar, John Agar, John Agar. That's right. This is Dr. Gangreen. This is not John Agar, but this is Dr. Gangreen talking about John Agar because my recommended movie, recommended movie of the week, recommended movie of the week is The Brain from Planet Arrow. That's right, starring who? Who? That's right, John Agar. You got it. How you got it? Good. Yeah, this is a fun movie. This is my recommended movie of the week. I just finished watching this movie and I actually, uh, a couple weeks ago, and I'm actually going to watch it again because it's so much fun. You got floating alien brains that force people to do their, their will, their bidding, and, you know, it's just a lot of fun. And, hey, who doesn't like a John Agar movie? You guys ever heard that, that song, John Agar Rules by, uh, um, who's that by, Cameron? Who is that? John Agar Rules, uh, the Dead L by, thank you. That's right. Let's listen. John Agar Rules. You gotta love that. Anyway, a little bit of uh, the brain from Planet Arrows. me when you talk like that. It's true. I've discovered a power that the most feared man on earth 
This is the closed circuit television set focused on the test area, isn't it? Yes. And uh, these buildings and equipment have been placed in the desert for destruction by the atom blasts? That's right. Would you all kindly watch the screen? <laughs> what you have just seen me do to that one small area, I can do to a city, a nation, or a continent. Gentlemen, I'm convinced I saw him wipe out a city of concrete and steel by some power of mind. And my advice to you and to your governments is to take what this, this man says as a most serious matter. Any country I have mentioned which does not have a representative here present in this room will find its capital city wiped out. So that was The Brain from Planet Arrow. It's a really fun 50s movie, 1958. And, um, you know, I'm a big John Agar fan. And if you aren't, then shame on you because you should be. John Agar rules. Well, if you enjoyed this little uh, movie recommendation, again, I don't do reviews because, you know, hey, other people can do that far better than me. I just tell you what I like and that I recommend you watch it. So watch The Brain from Planet Arrow. If you like this, click that subscribe button. And to find out more about us, go to drgangreen.com. That's it for this week. Cameron, you seen this movie? Nope. You never seen this? Never. Well, hell's bells. Here, buddy.